Dissident theory supports the behavior that the more you suffer, the more you believe in whatever you're suffering for. The purpose of study one was to help support the idea of cognitive dissonance and suggest that the effects are caused by the level of effort rather than supported by alternative hypotheses. To do this, study one manipulated effort and decision freedom. Past literature, Axum and Cooper in 1985 tried doing this, but they had a weak manipulation of degrees or a, a decision of freedom, so they um, couldn't. They didn't find significant effects. The present study is a two-by-two two between subjects factorial design, meaning that it has uh, two factors and um, two levels within each factor. The two factors, or independent variables, were anticipated effort and decision freedom. The way that um, anticipated effort was manipulated, um, again, was the high and low levels. And in the high effort, um, they were told that um, there are several different techniques dealing with how to help phobias with snakes, um, and but that the reason, the rigor that um, this study um, put them in, that they're only going to be able to do it for an hour. Um, whereas the low effort, um, we're told that there's also several techniques dealing with phobias of snakes, um, and that can take several hours, but um, subjects in the past have only taken up to an hour for the study, so that's how long this will be. The decision freedom um, was showing that the manipulation took place um, in the preliminary um, information booklet the subjects were given, and the high sub um, subjects were shown, um, were told that asked if they wanted to continue the study, if not, um, that they would not be reprimanded at all, and they would still be compensated the full $2, um, and then they just um, signed the consent form. Then, But the low participants um, were told that um, now since you know about the this uh, discussion or the description of the experiment in full, uh, we can continue the study. Um, so the prediction was that the high anticipated effort and the high degree of freedom uh, would be more motivated to change their attitude, meaning that it has a higher cognitive dis dissonance effect about snakes versus um, low anticipated effort and low degrees of freedom. So the way that this um, study was put together um, was a lone subject was first greeted by a male participant who was blind to the participant's level, um, treatment level, and um, but was aware if it was if they were um, an experimental participant or a control experiment um, participant. Um, the fact that this was a male experimenter could have caused um, any some biases um, within the data because um, the participants could have felt more threatened or a need to prove themselves more, which could have inflated the results. Um, so to, uh, to help this, um, each level could have had a different gender, one male, one female, um, to help balance out this difference. Um, and after they were greeted by the um, experimenter, the experimenter then told them that they have two parts. Um, the first would be explain the procedures, and the other half would be um, with a group session. And um, they were also told that they would have a chance to read written description of it. Uh, after that, they um, completed the first runway test, um, which was with the snake. Uh, after that, they were given an information booklet, which described the manipulations, described desensitization, um, systematic techniques with the, um, with the snakes. After that, they ran another runway test and then uh, completed a reciprocal inhibition questionnaire, which is the RIQ. Um, after this, participants were uh, probed for suspicion and then debriefed. The dependent variables um, for the study was um, runway test, attitudes towards snakes, motivation, and other measures. So the runway test was measuring how close or how far the participant was from the snake. They were told to walk towards the snake, and um, um, once they started no longer feeling calm, then, then they would stop. And um, any subjects who um, touched the snake were omitted from the study because that showed they didn't have a significant or sufficient uh, phobia. Um, the attitudes and motivations were both measured on a 11-point RIQ scale. Um, the motivation um, asked questions like, how much time would you be willing to put into this in the future if we have to continue? And are you interested in any additional training um, on how to perform this technique? Um, there are other measures, just like their um, reaction of the technique and the experiment, which were also measured on an 11-point Likert scale. Um, all these manipulations were successful. Um, and the results show um, an analysis um, was done on the genders. This shows that there's no significant effect between them, um, which proves that the genders were not the reason for the difference. Um, the results also show that the subjects in the high effort expected the procedure to be more effortful than low, and also that the high choice um, participants felt significantly more free to discontinue their involvement than did the low. And um, then the 
runway tests, the first and the second, were compared to each other. And just like cognitive dissonance suggests, um, the greatest improvement was the one within the high effort and the high choice condition. Um, which means um, that they suffered for the most and they're the ones that changed their uh, beliefs more drastically, i.e. Had, had a greater cognitive dissonance effect. Um, the motivation um, index also shows that the high effort and high choice subjects showed greater motivation to change. Um, there was also no uh, significance found between change in attitude, uh, which may suggest that an attitude, there's no correlation to a change in approach, distance, or latency. Um, so the results support um, that cognitive dissonance brings these effects because of the level of effort and um, the level of choice which are manipulated, um, rather than um, saying that it's because of alternative hypotheses. Um, so previous literature um, discusses expectations for a success of outcome, whereas this study suggests that effort expectations affect therapeutic changes. Um, to create more of a um, of a strong uh, strength behind these allegations. The study should be re replicated again to see if the effects are really caused by cognitive dissonance or if it's caused by something else. Um, in study two, um, it is going to further discuss the results on um, how if cognitive dissonance is causing the effects or if it's caused by one's self um, perception, which the perception, your self perception could cause you to want to do better because the more that you are um, involving yourself, the higher effort that you're putting yourself in, then you um, have a greater perception of yourself to, to get better. Um, but that is discussed in study two.